What's going on guys, Hostile Beast here, back again with another Retro Bowl video, and this is one I never thought I would ever make, but here we are. As you can see, Retro Bowl College is here. Here we go, look at this. Completely new game. This is not an add-on, you gotta go to the App Store to get this. The name is simply Retro Bowl College. It's kinda just like Retro Bowl, but it's college teams and the colors are a little different, so let's dive into it. Let's go. New save. Welcome to Retro Bowl College. You're about to start your first save as the head coach of a college football team. Now, new career. Look at this. You can have a favorite school and a starting school and the difficulty. So, dynamic is good for now. Starting school. Look at this. There's major and minor. There's a ton of new schools. So, major schools. You can see we have some offers from big conferences. And they all have slightly different names. For copyright reasons, all the schools have like slightly different names. The conferences have different names as well. So, large X is Big Ten. All the public schools' names are the same, but all the private schools' names are changed. For example, Evanston, that is Northwestern because it is in Evanston. And then we have S for state, so Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State. Let's look at a few other conferences. We got East South, so Southeast, that's Alabama, Arkansas, Auburn, Florida, Louisiana, State University, Texas. So all those good schools. Instead of Sun Belt, there's Sun Sash, then there's Independence. So uh, Notre Dame is just South Bend. I wish he put Catholic School. Once I make my actual college save, I'm going to change South Bend to Catholic School because that'd be really funny. Anyway, there's the major schools, minor schools around here. We got all these conferences. So minor schools, you can start out with a little school that's unknown and then work your way up in the college football world. There's like 128 minor schools. Major schools, probably a similar number. So let's start at Missouri State. Okay, let's just say Missouri State. Just like Retro Bowl, you start like week 18. I guess it's not week 18, it's like week 14 for college. I will skip the tutorial because the gameplay is the same. There we go, week 14, and you get like two or three bye weeks. See, we're five and three, we've only played eight games. So, in this season, we, we, we would have only played nine games. So the seasons are a lot shorter than regular Retro Bowl seasons, regular NFL seasons, which is very, very nice. Here we go to roster, you can see, junior, senior, freshman, sophomore, very cool right there. That actually looks very similar to what I did for my high school QB mode, if you remember that. But anyway, you can see their class. We'll go to them. And you can see, you know, your, your regular stuff, like their stats and everything. But you can also hit more right here. You can see their major and their minor and their campus society, their hometown. Very, very neat. Some extra background on these players. Retro Bowl College certainly adds more depth to the game. And as you can see in the bottom, it's scholarship fund instead of salary cap. Very neat right there. And you can also see on the left here, GPA, it says 2.7 for this kid, so one of your better football student athletes. But if their GPA drops below a certain point, they cannot play. So you have to keep your players eligible in order for them to play each week. Athletic office right here, pretty much the exact same as a regular game. Staff hires for coordinators, and then you, know, you got scholarship fund instead of salary cap. Then yearbook is your achievements your player records, and your player yearbook. So you want to save players instead of the Hall of Fame. It's the yearbook. Pretty cool little change like that. And then if you tap the record page, right here on the left side, you can see Missouri, my team, then major and minor standings. So you can see all the schools in each conference. And then if you go to rankings, see, for major, you can see all the way down. So 100 and 133 schools in major. Then in minor, you have 128. So there's a lot of schools in this game. In minor, what's our ranking right now? So in our conference, we are ranked three at five and three record. That's actually pretty good. We are five and three right there, third in our conference. And then postseason, you can see all the different bowl games. Very neat. So there's a lot of different opportunities for playoffs if you're not the number one team in the nation. So just slightly more complicated than actual Retro Bowl. It's very good. I personally love this setup for college, the ranking system, just like how the AP does their top 25 teams. But enough about the numbers, let's get into a game. So we continue, and here's what I love, okay? The uniforms, look at this, white, red, blue, and like a tan, right? They got some cool uniforms. Every team has a lot of unique uniforms. So we'll maybe go some white and blue like that. We'll hit play. And as you can see right away, the field is a little different. So Pitts RM kicks off for us. And now we got the ball. So. Look at this. We take a little take a little shot to our guy. Incomplete. All right, that was not a good throw. I got to get down to the end zone to show you guys. Here, the numbers are a little different on the field. The RB College logo in the middle. I like the RB College logo, but I don't know how I feel about the numbers, okay? As you can see, the end zone says Retro Bowl College in it. Let's throw deep. Let's have a nice college Retro Bowl touchdown. First on this channel over the middle is caught by Grant. And then I'll just show you if you want to go for two. You start on the three-yard line. 
which is pretty neat. Not a two point from the two, it's two point from the three. So realistic college rules. And you can see the band on the sideline there. And also overtime is like college overtime. It is not like retro overtime. So overtime is right. The field's a little different. Other than that, gameplay is pretty much the same. So let me know in the comments, do you want to see me do a Retro Bowl College Series? And if so, should we start with a minor school and work our way up? Or should we put our hat in the ring and go into the major schools and try and win a college football championship year one? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and tell everyone about Retro Bowl College, okay? I'm hyped for this. This is is going to be cool. It's the revival of Retro Bowl, but that's all I got for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.